everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, you're very welcome. I'm Jane, my husband Mike is behind the camera with British early retirees, debt and mortgage free and living a really thrifty and frugal life on a budget here in Brittany in Northwest France. And every Sunday we share an aspect of our thrifty and frugal life. And this Sunday is our big monthly food haul. Now we spend 300 euros a month at the supermarket. That's on all our food, all our drink, all our toiletries, cleaning products, laundry products, the whole lot. And I do a big chunk of that at the beginning of the beginning of the month when I do a great big stock up. And that's what you're going to see today. I'm going to give you the price in euros. The euro and the US dollar are pretty much the same price. And uh, we will put in the description box below a link to uh, what a pound is to a euro, what an Australian dollar is to a euro, and so on. So let's take a look at our food haul. The first store that I went to today is Netto. So I don't think any other places have Netto. I think it's just France and mainland Europe here that we have Netto. It's one of our bargain supermarkets like Lidl or Aldi. And in Netto today, I spent 63 euros 50. Let's have a look at some of the prices because I know it's always quite interesting when I watch food hauls from other countries to see actually what food costs. So let's start over here with milk. The milk is 83 cents a litre. I have camembert here, a small pack of camembert, 169. It's getting more expensive for dairy products. I then have here creme anglaise. We English people know this as custard and that's 50 centilitres and that's one euro four. And then here we have vegetable spread and this one is 171. Butter is now so expensive, we only have butter if we're spreading it on toast in the morning. I then have uh, pureed tomatoes and I bought four of these for 49 cents. I am stocking up on some things and tomato products being one of them, there's going to be a shortage of that, so I am stocking up. Over to here, I've bought two packs here of Pom puree, that's instant mashed potatoes to everybody else. One is a bit more expensive than the other one. I've only bought one of each for us to test them out. We've got very, very high potato prices. We're facing potato shortages, so we're stocking up on instant mashed potato. Price of milk, as you saw, is very high. This is effectively here three litres of milk, so this is powdered milk that will make three litres of milk for 170 so it's a bit cheaper and if I make a cheese sauce or anything like that I use powdered milk. So we have the two packets of pom puree which is instant mashed potato. We have here a kilo bag of sugar for 74 cents. Now this here is I think very unique to mainland Europe. You in other countries might have coffee in little plastic pots. We have it in these little, like little tea bags, we call them gussets. And the little gussets go into our espresso machines for making our coffee. We've recently invested in an espresso machine and it has brought me joy beyond explanation. And there's a hundred in there for 6.26. So basically six cents for a cup of coffee. I don't mind that. Then I have here 12 free range eggs for 2.59. This is a one kilo pack and this actually is sunflower oil, solid sunflower oil and that's 3.98. I don't just use that for frying, I'm using this now if I make pastry because butter is so expensive. So I'm using sunflower oil when I make pastry. I've got here eight pots of natural yogurt. I use natural yogurt with flour and some raising agent for making gluten-free bread for me. 
we have a small pack here of cooked beetroot. That's 53 cents. The yogurt would have been 195 for eight parts, but I bought it today and it's a that cook, which is short date of 98. I have a kilo bag of long grain rice for 88 cents. I have back here, I can't think that was that, yeah, five kilos of onions for 4.59. I'm going to do some a big batch cook of caramelised onion chutney. I know some people like might like the sound of that. We will link below to our video and our recipe on our website for my caramelised onion chutney. Something for my store cupboard. I always say here, in my, if you saw my last video, sometimes you need something in your stockpile to cheer you up. And I've got pineapple slices there for 168. I find tin fruit here is extremely expensive. I have a litre of sunflower oil for 2 95 I've got just about a kilo of ketchup. That's shrinkflation for you, Mark. Look at that, they've taken five grams off it. 148. Um, as well as buying dried potatoes, I'm also stocking up on tin potatoes. This is 98 cents for half a kilo. These, you can drain them, toss them in oil, and have them with a roast lunch. They're, they're, they're good for that. More of the 49 cents uh, uh, tomato puree. Puree to tomato. I think I don't know what you call that in English anymore. I've forgotten. Half a kilo of butter here. 4.54. It was only the other day that that was three euros. That has shot up in price. Eat that very slowly on our toast and enjoy it. Uh, this is some long life cream. This is a light cream. Again, I keep. I said this in my last video. You know, you do need to stockpile for a bit of cheerfulness. And having a a you know bit of fruit sponge or a bit of fruit pudding or something or some apple crumble with some creams just cheers us up. Then we've got here. What's that in weight? Half a kilo of honey. 297. Uh, we've got 375 grams of marmalade is 81. Tin tomatoes. Oh my gosh. These have shot up. These are now 60 cents each. And there's hardly any of them on the shelf. I think people know the prices are going up, they're stocking up. Then we have here, and again, if you saw my last video, you'll know that I said plan for meals plan for meals so if i'm having something i've already cooked in the freezer like cottage pie or something like that i've got peas and carrots just to have with that and they're 71 71 cents for a tin of peas and carrots and lastly from netto we've got tins of sweet corn and they're 65 Tinned products are really shooting up. Absolutely, thanks. Tinned products are really shooting up because of the price of making the tins. So there we go. So that was Netto. Let's on to the next supermarket. So the next supermarket I went to was the big E Le Clerc, or as we say here in France, Leclerc, and I spent 82 euros and three cents. Lots of things that you're going to see here today are stuff that I'm going to stock up on. Some of it is for lots more than a month and I'm stocking up on stuff simply because things are getting increasingly expensive and what I'm doing each month is I'm taking my 300 euro food budget and I'm spending every single cent of it each month Whereas I would normally not need to spend that much, I am now, because like I said, I am stocking up. And you'll see from my food haul that I've got here today, I'm not buying hundreds of something. I'm not buying cartons of it. I'm just buying a few more. So let's put my receipt down here and we'll go to the front of this and we'll get started. Okay, over here, I have got dog's dental sticks. These were 96 cents. Now this is an example, I normally buy a brand, I can't get them, so I'm buying the supermarket's own. These are the dog's gravy bones, 
and these were one euro 14 and that's 500 grams and then i have a loaf of bread and it's 111. if you're in the uk you'll notice that our loaves of bread here are about half the size of a loaf of bread in the uk this that they just have here is for toasting it's not very popular and it's expensive we've got here six packs of smarties 215. Uh, like I said, if you saw my video the other day, when we're putting things away like this, I said every now and then, think of, you know, a bit of cheerfulness and a small packet of chocolates once in a while is a nice thing to have. I bought another packet of dried milk. Um, so it's always good to have that put away. Milk, dairy products, butter, all of those things are going up in price and putting it away now saves me a bit of money. I have a very large packet of crackers here for 124. These are the wholemeal crackers. If you're in the UK, these are like rye beaters. I have some two very large bags of marshmallows. These are going away. I use these for making like cookies or cakes. I melt these and add them to stuff and I use them as a, as a recipe and ingredient really. Uh, not something that I eat just on their own. And no, we don't eat toasted marshmallows. And we don't do that gooey marshmallow between two cookie things either. No, we use these in cooking. This was my one and only boo-boo today. I thought this was shower gel and it wasn't. It's hand wash gel. So this is two hand wash gel refills. Fortunately, I have got a hand wash dispenser in the cupboard. These were 45 cents each. Did I say the price of marshmallows? That's one euro thirty-five. You see, it's quite a big bag. Then here, I have toothpastes, and these were sixty-nine cents each. Uh, I've got razors, uh, disposable razors, five seventeen. My husband's worth it. I don't care what they cost. And then we've got here. We have had to buy really expensive dog food because there's a dog food shortage and there was no supermarket owned brand dog food for small dogs. So we had to buy this. This is a lot more than we normally pay. So that's 4 15 And Mike, if you can come over to you, please, Mike. Here, we, these are drinks. These are soft drinks. People in the UK, you know what this is. We call this cordial or squash. This is peach, peach squash. This one's a sugar-free one. And that one was 2.73. This one, oh so delicious. British people know this as Ribena, a big supermarket owned brand one of 2.49. I've got some carrots, are uh, 1.99 for two kilos. Mayonnaise. That's half a kilo jar, I think, no, it shrunk, shrinkflation. Look at that, that's normally 500 grams, that's shrunk, 470, or is that just in my head? I don't know. That's 106 for the mayonnaise. This is vanilla flavoring, that's 349. This kind of stuff in the UK is really cheap, and this kind of baking stuff here is very, very expensive. There is very, very much the culture in France that you buy cake. You buy it at the boulangerie, patisserie, you don't make it yourself. So it's not so popular. These little baguettes are little foil dishes. I have a friend who's given me a whole load of apples and she doesn't cook. And I am gonna be making her, to say thank you for making the apples, I'm gonna be making her a whole load of individual apple pies and apple crumbles for her to say thank you for. She's basically given us two apple trees and that's to say thank you. Uh, I don't know if I've done these, have I done these already? I haven't, no? Oh. So I've got six scrubby sponges here for washing up. Because the cost of electricity and we've been asked to be prudent with our use of electricity, we are doing more washing up in the sink. Uh, we've got shampoo is 95 cents. I've got some specialist sugar here. This is, oh, here we go. That's, uh, I'm gonna mix the weight of that. 750 grams, 
We in the UK call this light demerara sugar, 196, because I'm going to be making caramelized onion chutney. I've then got two small boxes of cheese crackers, one with 54, one with 68 little crackers. I've got a large, very large bottle, lemon flavored, yummy, yummy, washing up liquid, 210. I've got some decaffeinated coffee here, 219. Ham is 10 slices of four euros, two cents. Ham is eye-wateringly expensive in France. Eye-watering expensive, I don't know. What do they make it out, the president's pet pig? Goodness me, it's that expensive. Now, back here, I've got Dauphinoise potatoes. So that's nice sliced potatoes and a creamy cheesy sauce. Like I said to you in my last video, think meals. If I saute some bacon bits, some lagons, mix it up with this, put some sliced tomatoes in it, I've got a meal. More tin tomatoes, every time I see them, I'm buying them. So these are 93 cents. Oh, Dauphinoise potatoes is 120 a tin. You see it's big, loads of it. I couldn't make it. I couldn't cook the potatoes, make the cheese sauce. I couldn't make it for that price. Then over here, I think this coffee has been hand-picked by the president, processed by his wife, jarred by his family. Really expensive. Look at that. 6 53 for a jar of coffee. But every now and then we have decaffeinated coffee. If we go out for the day, we take a flask of hot water with us. We take some instant coffee with us. And, and it's very hard to find decaffeinated coffee here. I think they like caffeine. I have toilet cleaner. These last me ages, two months. I have two toilets, one for each of them. That's 78 cents each. Uh, I've got toilet rolls. Even the cheap toilet rolls are really expensive. They were 109, then they went up to 135, then now 145. So I bought a 12 pack of toilet rolls here, 459. 459 is toilet rolls. Then we are on this one. This is a really, really top brand of washing up liquid and it's 7.30. This hasn't been in the shops for weeks and months. Months we haven't seen it. So when we saw it there, and I think there was only three left, we grabbed one. So there we go. That is the Leclerc. the video we have a 300 euro a month supermarket budget and you might have looked at my food today and goes well where's the fruit where's the vegetables where's the meat so this month I have already a freezer full of meat from last month and all this month I'm buying other things for the store cupboards and things that will last a long time and it doesn't mean that every week I take 75 euros and buy seven days of food with it. So I don't need to buy any meat for the entire of September. But when it comes to the end of September and I go into October, that's when I'll be going buying and filling my freezer up with meat again for the whole month. And it's not as much as you think. There is only the two of us and we don't eat a great deal. So this month has all been about store cupboard, pantry stables, staples, stables, staples. It's been all about those. And my last shop that I went to is called Action. And I'm trying to think of a, a shop in the UK. It's like Wilkinson's or Home Bargains. Some things that they sell there are less than half the price of anywhere else. And I spent, 12.98 in action and let's go through what we bought to start over here this little thing here is a packet of wax melts they go into our burner we're coming up to the house is closed season even though we can open the windows in the winter when it is pouring with rain 24 7 26 days a week it's what it feels like we do need something to make the place smell a bit nice and it's only 99 cents I've bought some air freshener, lavender and patchouli. 
and that one I've written on that somewhere. I've already lost it. I'm going to look it up on here. That one was 115 and that air freshener will last me about a year. Our house is completely open plan. There are no doors downstairs. So if I'm cooking and I just, you know, really want to get rid of the smell of curry or stew or cabbage or soup, quick skirt squirt of that helps. And yes, of course, I open my windows. I then have here four packs of fire lighters at 82 cents a pack. We stock up on these all year so we can put them away because winter time when everybody around here has got their wood fires going, they sell out. There's just none of them anywhere at all. So 82 cents each and that's about half the price of the main supermarket. We've got then Mike's Dove Body Spray. Uh, it's what he likes, it's what he likes. And that's 189 a can. This is a compressed can. So he doesn't use aftershave, he doesn't use body sprays. So he likes this deodorant at 189 a can. Do excuse my dog, it is vying for my attention. Like I said at the beginning of the video, we have a 300 euro a month supermarket budget. And that doesn't mean that we break it down into 75 a week or we only buy what we need for a month with that money. That's just how much money we budget we spend that month. Now, so far we have spent 158, 51 this month, leaving us with 141, 49 for the rest of the month. And that is what we'll buy anything else we need with. So anything else could include fresh vegetables, some fruit. It might mean another packet of butter. It could be some more milk or bread. Those type of little things that we need throughout the month. We hope that you found that interesting. I love to watch a shopping haul myself. I don't know. Tell me in the comments below. Do you like to watch a shopping haul? Now, just leaves me to say on behalf of Mike and I, Thank you so much to everybody who watches. Thanks to everyone who likes the video. It really, really supports the channel if you can like the video. Thanks to all the subscribers. And if you're not a subscribers, subscriber, come and join the Frugal family. Thank you everyone. And we will see you again soon. Goodbye for now.